Welcome back to our channel. Hi folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Gianna Adams and with me I have, say hi Frank. Say it, do it. Do it. Hi so, folks. What else you got? What else you got? Say something else. Well folks. Oh, yeah, folks, that's, oh, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Folks, that, that's dad. That is dad. Rolls right out of him. Rolls right out of him. This is all I got. I'm going to shut my mouth and go upstairs. Yeah, there he goes. Take it away. All right, right girl. Have out. a good time. All right, love you. Don't eat my group free. <laughs> that was a nice milestone, Frank. You Thanks, were getting Frank. there. I'm proud of you. You Thank said you a little bit on camera. Thank you, girl. It's official. It is. And like. I could be back on camera. <laughs> of his own free will. All right, exactly. <laughs> Bye. Why? I'm sorry, I've lost the words. <laughs> That's a first. Uh, my name is Brenda Iaz, and I am half of the Happy, Happy Hour, Hour Haulers. I am a uh, operations manager in the food manufacturing industry by day. That's my full time job. Janet is an underwriting manager at a, a bake. We do thread up DIY boxes, thread up fun boxes. We also do Goodwill blue boxes. In addition to that, we do yard sales. We also do auctions. We do, what else we do? Good to let bins pay by the pound. And- I've started sourcing on whatnot. Oh, and we're sourcing now on whatnot. Um, we are talk course. about whatnot later. Um, Rim has been wanting to sell on <laughs> yes, whatnot. I do. So let us know what you think. Let us know if you think it's a good idea, bad idea, if you have experience with it. We're thinking that it might be a good way to move some inventory, but it doesn't look like things sell for a premium. So we're still kind of knocking it around a little bit. And if you haven't checked it out, it is called Whatnot, and it's an online auction. And the auctions are done pretty quickly. They're, what is it, three... <laughs> Good oh. Lord, Kazoo tight. Oh, let me watch. They my are eyes. thirty seconds, a minute, and I think that's it. But they do go pretty quickly, and they are um, they're online, and they are live. So check it out. Things go, you know, one dollar. The bids start five dollars. Some of the bids start. I've, I haven't watched as many as Janet has. I've watched YouTube videos. Um that explain the process of selling and then also that explain the process of buying. So I'm pretty excited. I do think we'll start, I don't know, we'll probably, depending on what you guys think and what we learn from Janet's <laughs> sourcing on whatnot, whether we, whether we do it or not, but we're thinking about it. And we do have some local friends who are already sellers on whatnot. They are uh, Johnny and Lizzie, so shout out to you guys. They're some of our Goodwill Bins buddies. And he does, um, he has done, they've done two lives mm -hmm. so far. And their next one is scheduled for Thursday, eight o'clock. And they sell primarily hats on there. And their, um, their handle or their screen name is Frizzy's Finds. I will, I'm not sure how to link that, but I'll try to link that in the description below. But check out Frizzy's Finds, eight o'clock on Thursday nights, Eastern Standard Time, and let's support some of our local friends. Um, they're a new um, seller on whatnot, and they've got some amazing prices on hats. So check them out, we love them. Yes, we do, we love them, let's support them. We're trying to get them to have a YouTube channel, so. We like to support our friends. <laughs> On that note, I've got my t-shirt from Glamma oh, talking about supporting friends. We hi, have, Glamma. Hi, Glamma. We have um, drink. drink. We have a uh, 80s skate party we are going to this afternoon with some of our old restaurant buddies. And so pretty excited about that. But my makeup, my makeup is a little heavy heavier than normal for the 80s theme. I'm not sure that I nailed it, but I did the best that I could. <laughs> nailed it! Um, and so today I do have a box. This one's a little different. This is from our dear, dear friend and the person that got me into reselling, Sweet Lily. And so I will link her channel below. She sent me, she is, is doing, by the way, 
some really aggressive promotions within her closet. So if you have not checked out her Poshmark closet, you should. And if you like any items in her closet, go ahead and hit the red heart like button because she is offering to those people uh, periodically um, that have liked items recently in her closet, 50% off bundle offers. Now it's not all of the time, so don't think that you're instantly gonna get 50% off. And it does have to be two or more items, but she is testing out some different things and trying some different things to really promote her closet and move some inventory. Bryn and I have actually knocked around the idea of doing the same thing, but uh, we're still trying to figure out the logistics of it and figure out a good time to where I have the time to do shipping if it goes crazy. My closet, is, I don't think, is as big as hers, so I'm not sure that I'll have nearly the success that she did. Uh, but it's a really cool idea if you go in and like some items when she does decide to run the promotion you can take advantage of that because you'll get her um, bundle offer discount verbiage when she's running that sale. So definitely, and she's got a lot of designer, a lot of very nice higher end pieces. And I can promise you this, her stuff comes out pristine. She is meticulous. Uh, it is her full-time job and she takes it very, very seriously and um, she is a very ethical, honest, amazing reseller, the type of person that we like to support. So, little side note about that. So that's what triggered this, which was a, she did one of her, um, one of her promotion, promotional sales events where she was doing 50% off all bundle items of two or more items. And so I went into her closet and I had liked some previous items, which is why I got the offer, but it was um, not items that, that I was looking to purchase. It was some stuff that I, some inventory that I had actually given to her that I wanted to kind of track and see how they did. So I went in and I liked some items for me and, um, and I sent her an offer. She did not accept my offer. And I'm like, what the heck, man? Like I'm supposed to be your girl. And then, she said, I've pulled the items and I'm going to send them to you. You do so much for me that it is the least that I can do. So with that in mind, all of this is from her. Um, no, I didn't have to pay for shipping. I didn't have to buy anything. And we have a note from her. Hello, ladies. Just a few items I have been putting back for you. The Burks Birkenstocks that she had found that she had sent me pictures of that were a little rough. And I was like, buy them. And she's like, I don't know. They're a little rough. I was like, buy them. And they were my size. And I said, I want those. And she's like, and I said, no, you don't understand. Even if they're trashed, I can still wear them around the house. And I basically live in Birkenstocks now. I have horrible feet and they're the only shoes that seem to be very comfortable for me. And so she said, the Burks will definitely have to be farm shoes. I couldn't get the paint off. The gift wrapped in green has been a lifesaver for me. I hope you get good use from it. Lots of love, Lily. So thank you, Lily. And I'm gonna save the green one for last. Thank you, Lily, we love you. She said that there was one surprise in there, right. so I'm very excited to see what that is. All right, all right. And then I think that the rest of these items are the three items that I had liked uh, from her closet okay. and then the Birkenstocks. Okay. So this is the first one and I loved the color of the shirt and I especially loved, it's new with tags and it had the thumb holes in it. Oh cool, I like At least holes. I thought it did. I do like the thumb holes. I don't know, I'm not seeing them now, but I'm sure they're there. Anyway, this is the shirt. Oh, I like that shirt. Isn't that pretty? Yes. And I love the long cuffs on that. Nice turtleneck, that'll look great with a really nice long dangly necklace. I can dress it up with a skirt or I can wear it with a pair of jeans, that's the more likely thing. Um, or a pair of lounge pants, really, really pretty. Okay, so it looks like these are my Birkenstocks. Very excited about these. And she said that she did clean them like crazy. Oh, they are I clean. told her 
if you guys have any experience with cleaning Birkenstocks, please let me know. I have watched so many YouTube videos where they talk about the Dawn dish soap and baking soda method and you add just a splash of water and then you scrub the, the cork soles um, with a toothbrush and then you wipe it all out and then you let it air dry and it takes a little bit of time to air dry and blah, blah, blah. And um, the only thing that I have succeeded in doing is um, scrubbing off all of the label, <laughs> the size and the Birkenstock. So that's not good. And she did scrub these and oh my God, they look amazing. Look at these. They do. She was like, they're just farm shoes. These are not just farm shoes. I, I would absolutely those. wear these everywhere. And it's got one paint spot. Who cares? Those are amazing. They if you are. look, they're not curled up. The older that they get, they seem to kind of curl, like bend up from walking. And these have no bend. The soles look amazing. They do, hold please. All right, got them. Hold and them. I love them. Absolutely. They are awesome. And I will get a ton of use out of them. I actually just put together a new shoe rack so that I know what I have, so I can add those to my shoe rack. And then, I don't know what this is. I think that this is the jewelry. All right. This is very exciting. I'm it very is. Mm. We do have some um, bins hauls that we're gonna be doing, um, hopefully for our next few videos. Um, we went to the Charleston bins and that was a huge bust. And so when we came back, on that Monday, we went to our bins because we were so disheartened and it was really good. Yeah. And then we went again yesterday and it was really good again. And so we definitely want to um, to film those so that you can kind of get the comparison. We were hoping to have it this video. We just, timing issues. We were too busy at the bins and didn't, <laughs> didn't come home early enough to actually do the video for it. So, um, okay, Jory. Sorry, I'm so excited. Um, this was a rhinestone lariat necklace. Oh, and wow, that is pretty. That is beautiful. And it's really cool because this this piece slides so you can wear. I might wear this today. I'm gonna wear this today with my shirt. <laughs> I love it. It's really, really pretty. Really cool and it hangs really long. And I figured that this would be, um, I don't do a whole lot of dressing up even, you know, for like special occasions anymore. But this is kind of the perfect piece that I could put with, um, you know, a nice sweater and a pair of pants. And to me, that kind of dresses it up. So, um, ooh, oh my God, I love these. These look like sodalite, is that right? They're not lapis. Um, those are beautiful. They are I beautiful. had asked for these. These were from one of her videos, and I had oh, asked for these. It just hit me. I was like, God, these look so familiar. Well, that's why, because they were oh, in my pile. they're so pretty. Those are oh, beautiful. Oh, I love them. I can't remember the stone. Maybe it is lapis. Anyway, one of my jewelry buddies will know, and I'm sure that she knows, and she's like, you're an idiot. You're the one that asked for these, and they're blah, blah, blah. But they're really nice. I like they those. They are. So this is something that... Um, <gasps> that I got for a gift for someone for Christmas. And so oh beautiful. my God, this is even more stunning than what I thought it would be. This guy's is liquid silver. My thing is a little, okay, there we go. And let me, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Can you get like really close? Just give me one. I got really close right there. Yeah. Yeah. And it is gorgeous. It looks like it's about a 20 strand liquid silver necklace. And that is absolutely beautiful. Sterling silver. And I guess that the liquid silver, it has something to do with, I don't know, if they heat and then melt it like beads and then melt it and stretch it. I don't, I don't understand the process. Or if it's just that it's, the individual beads, but it is absolutely it's beautiful. Stunning. So, 
This was, and this was definitely a premium piece. So I cannot believe that she was just like, no problem, you do so much for me. Oh, Here you go. Beautiful. That was extremely generous of her. And then I don't know what this is. I do I know, know what this is? I don't know. <gasps> I do. These are also a gift. Oh, those are cool. Hunter plaid, yes. Oh, we love Hunter Plaid. And guess who these are for? Are they for Pops? They're men's. Oh, they're for Dad! He love loves Hunter Plaid. And oh he loves um, a Buffalo Plaid. A Buffalo Plaid, yeah. Um, and he loves flannel. Yeah. I forgot all about these. That's the fun thing about shopping in your friends' closets and then, or, you know, from their videos and That's then having so them cool. hold the items and you're like, oh, I, I forgot all about, I love that. Dad's so, I mean, obviously on. because we picked it out forever ago, but that will go into, I have a little cabinet where I keep all of our presents and I try to shop for everyone online. Oh, he's and so that will be really cool for him. And then my last item and it says, my reseller gift to you works great on suede and patent leather. Oh my God, I need this. I don't even know what it is. Oh. An electric eraser, rechargeable. This is so cool. Cool. It's got all of the charging instructions, but I guess that you just kind of put it on the suede or the patent leather. I never would, I've never seen this. I've never heard of it. And, um, and I have a lot of suede, especially. We pick up a decent amount of suede shoes at our bins and, um, I don't let, um, issues with the suede deter me if it's a good enough brand. But then I get home and I'm like, why didn't I let it deter me? This is so neat. It, oh my God, I get it. It's what literally it? an eraser. It's an eraser. And so you guys know with suede, you can take a white eraser and you can, but it does the work for you, which is so cool because both Lily and I have RA. And oh, so a cool. lot of, oh my God, it's already going. Oh, that's you guys cool. see that? Oh, and that's it's just cool. an eraser. That's so neat. That's really I've never cool. heard of this. I'm so excited. What a great gift. So, Lily, thank you. This was an amazing box. I'm excited to be able to share it with all of our friends. If you're not subscribed to her, please do. She has amazing content and um, she is very honest, real. I just can't say enough about her. And so thank you for watching. Come back and see us. Um, we will be doing more bins hauls. We'll maybe be talking more about the whatnot as Bryn gets more research done. She, she was like, hey, we gotta do that. And I'm like, okay, cool. And she's like, no, we really have to do it. And I said, okay, great. That can be your baby. <laughs> <laughs> and so she has um, graciously agreed to do all of the research to find out what we need to do to be sellers on the WhatNot app, and we'll kind of go from there, figure out how we want to structure our, our little closet on there, and if we're gonna do it. I'm excited. Oh, we're gonna do it, dude. Well, I wonder, I heard that I they've slowed do down it. on accepting new applications for sellers. Oh, really? So you might wanna- Get on it? Jump on that. All right, <laughs> I will. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, folks. We'll see you on our next video. Have a great night. Like, subscribe. Oh yeah, those things. Please all the comment, things. all the things. Um, We love you, love. HHH.